Hi guys, let's talk about transitioning in the fashion industry and what you should do and you know I wanted to do like number one, number two, number three, but I feel like um, I wanted to talk to you as a fellow um, fashion designer. So you know what, I transitioned so much, so I think I'm like, I'm in the good position to talk about this. So for me, I used to be a fashion designer for kids wear. Then I got a job in Shanghai. I became a fashion teacher for eight years. Then I moved to Paris to take my MBA and um, I became a student, you know, by the way, that transition from teacher to student is quite tough. It's it's so irritating because there are things that I don't do as a teacher. And then me being subjected to another teacher's uh, rules, it's kind of frustrating for me. So that that that's another story. OK, and then and then I had to do become an intern. My God, I need to learn pattern drafting. No, not learn. I need to do pattern drafting for my internship, um, that kind of thing. And then I had to do part time jobs. I work in a store. I became a sales uh, lady and um, I did babysitting. I did all sorts of part time jobs. So, you know, it, it's like an ebb and flow of of different energies wearing different hats and um, I don't regret it because I feel like it made me um, a stronger person so this is also probably why when I see my students um, transitioning to a like a, a different job or in between jobs I can feel their discomfort I can feel their anxiety even if they don't tell me you know this is also why I don't discuss this directly with them I mean sometimes I would mention like in passing if they want to talk about it I can talk about it but if not you know this is why I wanted to do this video just in case you're in this position and you have nobody to talk to or you don't feel like they would understand I do and I hear you okay so first of all Transitioning is um, a normal part of life. It's a part of life. Even though we thought we had this job for years, suddenly you have to leave this job and um, go elsewhere. And at the same time, you were a manager all your life. And then now you have to do freelance work. You have to know all the softwares that normally you ask another designer to do or your colleague to do. Um, there's no shame in having to learn software. Um, now they're super prof, okay, mini plug, because I work there, I, I offer my lessons there. I can also um, give you online lessons in case you need it, but this, po this video is not about that. It's more about the skills can be learned, okay? The years of experience, the, um, the automatic um, okay, I know this. what would happen if you do this kind of style. I know what would happen if this pattern you try with this fabric. You know, this is not something... We can teach students this information, but then having them ingrained in your uh, decision-making, in your thing, it takes years to do that, you know. We can only hope that the students can, when they learn this, they apply this. Not because you know something or you heard something. It doesn't mean that you will use this um all your life you know so you need to be proud of that because this is something that you earned all your life and uh, you know and um second um you know softwares are being updated almost every year even for me that i've been using the software for more than 10 years i've seen oh they this is new oh where is this tool you know like um the actual Adobe software uh, and then the ones that we do with subscription. By the way, they don't have the smooth tool. I don't know where it is. If you're a fashion design student, tell me where it is. I couldn't find it. <laughs> but um, I don't know. They rearrange the things. I, I'm i like, are, is it lost? Did they totally delete this very useful tool? Or, you know, even for me, I don't know where it is. And uh, I, I'm not afraid to say, oh, I don't know. Where is it? You know, but... I had to find a way because actually I grew up with this software without those tools. I, I had really the dinosaur age software. Like I had to do select this thing one by one instead of now you just click and it selects everything by itself. Those kind of things. Okay, I'm getting too technical already. But anyway, um, just try to 
collect all your previous work, make a nice portfolio. You can even put it on a website. Actually, you don't need to invest in a website. There's free portfolio-based websites, and I think it's good enough because uh, honestly, people don't browse through everything anyway. I've had like three, three <laughs> um, websites that I haven't updated, and I pay monthly for this uh, hosting thing. It's not that bad, but uh, okay, it, it works but uh, it's not a necessity and i feel like uh, having a presence in social media is much more helpful and also it's free so why not take advantage of those and also also have fun uh, this is a new opportunity um try to i don't know either segue into a different category maybe you were a children's wear designer and then you wanted to try women's wear or maybe you've always done men's wear and you want to try a little bit of women's wear and you were afraid like oh this is not me you know like this is the time to explore and also maybe update some skills like for me as i always tell my fashion design students you know what me um i'm i'm good with computers that's why i became lazy with hand drawing and i always re admire students who can do hand drawing really well and then they always tell me, oh my God, I don't know computer. <laughs> we always want what we don't have. So see, so maybe now's the time to practice. Um, me, what happened for me, like um, even though I was in between jobs, like in the, I'm not working in the fashion industry per se when I was a, an intern or something like that, I, I would try to see how I can improve. Well, the lessons help because uh, of course I need to prepare for my students and you know, I need to do things so i remember okay i used to do this kind of thing i for me i wanted to practice more on my hand drawing because i don't know i wanted to do it fast and in a nice way because sometimes we all we don't always have the computer i also want to try uh, drawing on an ipad but i feel like is it really necessary if i can do it on my laptop you know that kind of thing and also um i don't know it's therapeutic for me to talk to other people in the fashion industry because it reminds me of how it was and it reminded i don't know it just grounds you like okay you know i'm not the only one feeling this way i'm not the only one who encountered this you know so i'm very grateful to, um to my students as well because i i saw uh, what's going on without having to experience it actually for myself and they also teach me new things like you know marriage this one is good for this for the collection i suggest you should do this and you know these are our our best sellers this did well because a b and c this kind of thing this kind of knowledge is not something you pick up from a book it's not something you can even watch on tiktok or something like that it's something you saw in in your in your work in your daily life so you know this is something to be proud of and also um start with what you can offer and instead of being insecure like oh i don't know this software oh sorry it's been years i haven't done this don't do that you know like tell them why you're cool tell them why they should hire you tell them why they should give you a shot because you deserve the shot anyway i hope this video inspires um some of you are to and even just to one person who gets to see this you know you're not alone and there's a lot of people um in between jobs and um you know we all want to do well and um uh, the world is your oyster good luck bon courage